I'll be showing you how to make uh, Xubuntu, Zubuntu, uh, yeah, pronunciation is different between people anyhow, uh, look a lot like OS X. So we'll get on with the tutorial. Alright, so we're in the virtual machine. Let's get started here. I have a bunch of Firefox tabs open here with all the stuff we'll need to customize XFCE. We'll start off with our GTK and XFWM theme. It's called uh, XO socks whatever it's called and it's from this i assume this is spanish blog and you can scroll down here and get the themes xfce and gtk click on both of them save them of course gtk and xfce there we go and they're both done open up two file manager windows Point one of them to downloads, and what you're going to have to do now is either go to View, Show Hidden, or you can just press Control H to show hidden folders. And if a folder not already called .themes is there, then just create it. I can spell very well. So create a folder called .themes. What you want to do is open up these targz, uh, these are basically compressed folders, and drag them right in to .themes, and you'll be done there. And let's uh, change the theme of our windows and our uh, applications. So open up your applications menu, go to settings, appearance, and Yosemite, with, but with an X, GTK. And you can see our appearance has changed. I'll open up file manager window. You can see it's a bit different. We'll go back to all settings and go to window manager and we'll change our theme to the same thing. And you can see our... Um, window headers are different and now another thing we can do is change the layout of the buttons down here we can move all these buttons to the left side like this and you can either put the blue button right there which is the menu which does uh, this here or you can remove it if you never find anything here very useful and make it look more authentic. So we'll open up a terminal, Control alt t and you can see this is what it looks like. The next thing we're going to do is get our uh, icon theme. We're going to be using a theme called Numix Circle. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are aware of this. Installation. Um, of course, this is aimed at Ubuntu, and you can just get it from a PPA. That's what we're going to do. You can also do it using Fetty on uh, Fedora and the AUR of course for arch based distributions so I'm just gonna copy this open up your terminal using control alt T it's a pretty good shortcut to use and just paste in these commands this command will add the Numix uh, private repository then we're gonna have to run this command to update the uh, sources of software on the system and we'll wait for this the next command we're going to run is uh, this right here, which will install the new icon theme. There we go, and we'll install this. We'll wait for it to be done. Alright, so the icon theme is installed. We're going to go back to our applications menu here, go to settings, and we'll go to appearance, and then icons. And what we're looking for is Numix Circle. We're going to choose Numix Circle Light, so that with our uh, Light GTK theme, we'll be able to see these icons. And we're done there for our icons. The next thing we're going to do is change our system fonts. The uh, fonts we're going to be using is San Francisco, System San Francisco Regular in particular, for our system. And for our terminal, we're going to be using Menlo. So this is all from GitHub. Download the zip, and uh, we'll save. We'll also get the uh, one from Menlo. And you can see some of our icons have changed. Open up two file manager windows. Point one of them to downloads. And this one, you're going to want to make a hidden folder called .fonts if it's not already there. Now open up both of these zip files and navigate uh, from this folder to right here 
click on one of them and then shift and use the arrow keys to select them all drag them right in we're going to do the same with this one for menlo go in there and drag it right in and there we go we have our fonts installed on the system so now let's uh, get them all done I guess applications menu settings all gonna do it graphically go to appearance fonts and change default font from droid sans to uh, down here it should be SFNS display choose regular keep it at 10 and there you go our font has changed we're gonna do the same with our uh, title bar up here so go to all settings then window manager change the title font to the same thing and choose regular and there you go our font has changed I'm gonna open up the terminal to see uh, show you what it looks like right here and I'm gonna open up a file manager window so this is how our fonts look let's uh, go on further customizing the terminal so I'm gonna control alt T to open the terminal here it's always a good shortcut to use now right click and go to preferences what we're going to do now is go to appearance and change the font from Deja Fu Sans Mono to uh, Menlo, wherever it is. Right there, Menlo Regular. Keep it at 9. And you can see our font has changed. Let's go back into preferences. Now to go to colors. Change the background color from this dark black color to white by either uh, using this right here and dragging all the way up there or putting in the color name, which is, of course, FFF, FFF. And we're fine. Now it's a white. We want to change the text color now to black. So go into color name and type in 0000. zero, 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 zero. And you can see it's a black. The next thing we're going to do is change our cursor color, which is this thing right here. We're going to change it to a color in hexadecimal. 929292. Okay, and you can see now it's a grayish color. We're going to also go down here. Bold text color should also be black. So put in, again, six zeros. And text selection color will be a lighter gray color. So it's BF, BF, BF. And you can see our text selection is a lighter gray color. Tab activity color. Though I would just change this to... Uh, BF, BF, BF. And you're done. The next thing we're going to do is change this applications menu to the Apple logo. So right click, save image as, and I like to put uh, a folder in my home directory called uh, dot modifications. And you can simply save it right in. Now right click on applications menu, go to pro properties, click on this icon thing right here, wait for it to load up, it, uh, it's a bit slug sluggish, change this from uncategorized icons to image files, and navigate to the directory you put the icon, and select the icon of course, now you can see it's the Apple logo. We're also going to change our wallpaper. Yeah, this is the uh, default wallpaper for for uh This is the default wallpaper for Al Capitan. Right click, save image as and put this wherever you want. I like to create a folder called uh, wallpapers. You can put it in pictures or whatever and save it right there. Now what we're going to do is right click on the desktop desktop settings and for background go to folder and change this to other and navigate to that directory now you can select it from here and style I keep it at zoomed because I can see the whole uh, desktop without any of that uh, because all these kind of mess around with the wallpaper and uh, we're done there Next thing we can do is right click on the desktop again and go to 
desktop settings. I forgot something. You can remove the icons if you would like. It's uh, icons, default icons. Just uncheck all these boxes. The next thing we're going to do is get our dock down here and apply a theme called transparent or rather translucent panel. And the dock I'm going to be using is called plank. So open up your terminal, type in sudo apt get install plank, of course for Ubuntu. Enter your sudo password. And yes, to install these packages. Alright, so Plank has finished installing. Let's get our theme first. I have this GitHub page right here. You can see this is what Translucent Panel will look like. Download this zip file. And we're going to do something a bit more complex here. Open up a file manager window. And now open up your terminal and type in, in my case, my file manager is called Thunar, and that's the default in Xubuntu. Type in sudo Thunar, or whatever your file manager is, so that we can get a uh, root file manager. So in the root one, go to your file system, user, share, plank, and then themes. Now what you want to do here, in the non-root, go to Downloads, Plank Themes, and open this up, go to Themes, drag this first into the Downloads folder, this is important, and then you can drag it right in there. And it'll be installed. We're going to delete all that stuff in the Home folder, I mean, rather, the Downloads folder, we don't need that. And what we want to do now, go to the Applications menu and type in Plank. You can see now there's a dock at the bottom of the screen, and you can choose to remove things from the dock like this, or keep things in the dock. You can bring up this menu by right clicking. You also have this icon here when clicked on, or right clicked on, you have some more information. When you click on it, you can change the theme here. We're going to change it to translucent panel, and now it looks more like um, Mac OS X. You can change the icon size as you would like, but I prefer something like 54. Or, if you're crazy, you can go big. But I like it. Slightly bigger icons here. When you right click on this, you won't be able to remove this, so this icon will have to always be in the dock, but you can freely uh, give and take icons. Why did I click on that? Nobody knows. User left your there you channel. go. And when I close that, icon will still be there. A good thing about this is this thing is auto-hiding as well. And when you put your mouse down, it will also follow, like so. <coughs> so we're all done there. You can uh, mess around a bit more with this and see what you can do with Plank because Plank is lightweight and relatively customizable. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to make Xubuntu, Zubuntu, however you want to pronounce it, resemble OS X. Of course, I'm aware that uh, there is a lot more you can do to make it look even more, but uh, I'm just going to give you a quick taste and I'll leave you off on your own to explore. Another thing you can do, though, is um, change the uh, cursor. I forgot about the cursor. But uh, just go to your settings here. It's one of these things. Uh, sorry, it's mouse, actually. You want to scroll down, mouse and touchpad, theme, DMZ black. And there you go. It looks a bit more like a Mac. The cursor's not such a big deal, but you, you, whatever. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. And I'll see you guys later.